Hello Penguinauts, I'm the Billy Penguin and welcome back to Fall of Kerbin. First of all, I have to apologize if you can hear any bird song in the background of this video. That is because it is actually spring in England and for some reason, for once, it's actually sunny. And it's actually pretty warm. So I have my window open and the birds are chirping away because I pretty much live in the countryside. Anyway, quite a few of you have asked us to make a tutorial video on how we build our ships. Uh, we've had quite a lot of requests for that, and I've mostly ignored them until now because there's kind of a tutorial on World War II warships. Uh, but we've edited the mod quite a bit, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to make an actual video on how we specifically make these ships. Because a lot of people are saying, ah, oh, why are my ships sinking? Why do my ships look terrible? Why do your ships actually move? Uh, so I decided I'd actually just make a video on it. So here's one I made earlier. Uh, this is the Rock Upper Class Frigate. This has served us quite well throughout World War One and straight into the World War II era, although we haven't actually launched any yet. We will be uh, at some point in the future, I'm sure. These are mostly relegated to submarine hunting and just basically just sort of screen ships. Uh, they're kind of just meat shields. They don't have a massive anti-aircraft armament, just a single 2 centimeter Flak Wehrling 38 or Akt und Dreisig, yeah. And it's got some depth charges and some 5-inch guns. But the main question is, of course, how do you actually build these ships? So I'm going to start from scratch, and I'm going to walk you guys straight for it, and uh, hopefully we can result with something similar to this, although I'm not actually going to put much effort into the actual aesthetics. It can take quite a few hours to build a ship that looks as clear-cut as this, uh, with all the aesthetic stuff on it. I'm just going to give you the basic rundown. Uh, well, as in-depth a rundown as I can give in like a 10-minute video. This video is probably going to end up being like half an hour long. So, first of all, uh, we're using World War II warships, that is the ship mod. But we also have uh, the Maritime Pack and SM Marine for aesthetic parts. First thing you want to do is head into your Structural tab, and you want to pick a keel. So, obviously, that, uh, that little frigate there uses a small keel. My submarine uh, uses a tiny keel, uh, although I'll probably... Yeah, in future I, I won't really use World War II warships parts for my submarines because uh, submarines are such a small scale, you don't, you don't really need to be using them. Uh, anyway, and then obviously you get much larger keels. Uh, my battleship uses a large keel. Uh, my cruisers use medium keels. I know taped cruisers use medium-large keels, uh, at least as heavy cruisers do. Actually, he doesn't have any light cruisers, does he? Uh, and I could use that. We do have rules, so, you know, um, frigates and destroyers use small keel, cruisers use medium, medium, large, and battleships use large. Uh, at the moment, we haven't used the super large, well, very large keel, because we're saving that for the late World War II era when we uh, introduced some super battleships like the Yamato and the Bismarck, etc. Because uh, as you can see, this is uh, pretty, pretty damn sizable. Uh, yeah, whoa, pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah. The King Cast Battleship is massive enough for my needs right now, and that just uses the large kill. Anyway, so we're just going to use a small kill for now, just so this video doesn't take too long. And the game's crashed, because it usually crashes in the editor's great... Uh, I'll relaunch it. Alright, so we relaunched the game. That's uh, one problem of having this many mods installed. It's actually pretty stable when you're in the game itself, but when you're in the editors, it seems to crash an awful lot. I think that's mainly down to NAS, just because the sheer amount of parts that amazing mod actually adds. Anyway, so now you have your kill, so this is just the basis of the ship. Uh, it's indestructible and it's just what you attach everything else to. Um, next up you have your military hull plating, your A hull plating. Now these are the indestructible parts that actually pump in water. So what you want to get the get these get there yeah, yeah. what you want to do with these is I guess we want oh that's a bit big. Uh, uh, yeah this is fine. So you want to get those. Uh, these pump in water and they're indestructible so this is what um, makes your ship sink and then what you want to attach directly onto that is your B plating so it was 44 yeah your B plating and what this does is it pumps the water out which is why when your hull plating gets destroyed then the water is no longer pumped out for this specific piece of A plating and your ship begins to sink and keel over. Uh, what Tape and I usually do is attach a piece of, where is it, structural plating, which uh, is just a little bit of added armor and buoyancy because these parts aren't extremely buoyant, especially in the larger ones like the battleship parts. Uh, so we get a structural plate and we usually attach it to the hull plating here on the inside. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, if the hull plating gets destroyed, this comes off with it. It's just to add a bit of buoyancy. Um, and yeah, just make your ship a little bit, shift, shift a little, your ship a little bit tougher. It's been a long day, okay? <laughs> These sort of unofficial 
KSP videos, they're, yeah, I don't really put a huge amount of effort into them, it's just to explain stuff, and there's a plane going overhead. Let's, let's wait for that to, uh, to go by, and stop interrupting my YouTube video. Alright, the plane's soldered off, uh, we can continue! So, essentially all you do is get those, and then just copy and paste. I'm not going to be particularly beautiful with these, these are actually too big for a, for a frigate or destroyer. These are sort of cruiser-sized parts, is how I built my Royal class. Um, Galapagos class cruisers. Anyway, then you think, oh no, what, what do I do, Billy? I got, I got to the end. How do I make it into a point? Oh look, look, rotation tools. Isn't it amazing? You can just literally just do that. Problem solved. Uh, I'm not being particularly beautiful with this, as I said. And then this also comes with a bunch of parts like this. So all you have to do is, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Do something like that. Get some more structural plates. Not like that. Uh, structural plates, structural, structural plates, structural plating that's bigger. Where is it? There. And then just, yeah, that looks fine. So then you go to the back, do the same thing, except at the back you probably want to have, uh, you might want to have the same thing uh, as the bow. Yeah, the bow. So at the stern you probably want to have a similar thing to the bow, except uh, usually what we do uh, in my ships is a design feature that uh, some ships have in real life is you raise it a little bit so uh, if I can get a big one of these yeah so you have it go up like that and then you fill in the section here and then what you do is you get your engines and yeah so there you go you got your basic hull we'll get rid of that there we go uh, and what we do is we put deck plating on that so this is really not particularly tough stuff but you just use this for all of your superstructure um, it's this stuff the armor piercing bombs just punch straight through and then hit the internals here. So it's pretty important that you put deck plating on the deck uh, where it's meant to go. If you put hull plating up here, then you're going to add loads of like weight up here. They're going to be filled with water and heavy fuel oil, like uh, all of these ones are. Uh, so yeah, use deck plating up here. So let's just get a giant piece of deck plating. That's not giant. There we go. Get a bunch of this. Stick it on there. Stick, stick it on there like that. Look at look how beautiful our little test ships it is looking it is looking great uh, you can certainly tell that I spend quite a few more hours on the rest of my navy uh, than I'm spending on this um, it is kind of inevitable you're gonna get a little bit of flickering um, but once you launch the ship that doesn't actually show too much anyway there you go you got all that next what you need to do is you need to have a boiler uh, what tape and I'll usually do is get uh, a bunch of structural plating so some long pieces of structural plating like this obviously much bigger uh, protecting all of the internals here and then what you want to do is find yourself a boiler if I can just search for the World War II warships parts that didn't work okay oh no it's 7-7 industries isn't it 7-7 industries there we go uh, da -da 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 -da. there we go so this is a small ship, so you want to have the normal medium ship boiler. The alternative one is a throttleable, um, a throttleable boiler, but we're just using the good old World War II boilers. So yeah, you stick one of these in here, and what this does is it converts water that you take in uh, through the A-hole plating, and it converts it into steam. You might also want to convert that steam into electricity, so you get an electric generator as well. But steam is the marvellous thing that is used to power your engines. So for this one, we just use medium turbines there you go so you get yourself a couple of turbines if I can there we go and voila you have yourself a fully functioning ship and doesn't it look gorgeous look at our look at our child look look how we raised him beautiful uh, if I just grab myself another piece of structural plating uh, uh, if I get that cheap facing roughly this direction yeah it's fine and then also you want, what you want also want to do is get yourself a rudder uh, probably a bigger one than that there we go get yourself a rudder uh, if I can get it facing the right way uh, there we go get yourself a rudder in there you can obviously make that look a bit better but that is what will make your ship turn you could also use um, bow thrusters I believe they're up here yeah so you use these uh, you place them in the in the bow and then Use action group to toggle them on and off so you can turn a bit faster. I used those in World War I, um, but I use these rudders now because I didn't realize just how powerful and how good these rudders actually were and how reliable they are. So, yeah, that's what we use now.
don't really use, don't really need to use these battle thrusters. Uh, if you want to control your buoyancy, of course, you can use some ballast tanks. And these can pump water in, and they can also pump water out. You can get some bilge pumps if you lose a piece of structural plating, but you still want to pump stuff out. But they use a lot of electric charge, and they're also a bit cheaty, so Tape and I don't use them. I believe that is pretty much everything when it goes to the actual function of the ship. Now we want to get onto the slightly more exciting stuff, so adding guns to it. So you, what you first want to do is get yourself a turret hardpoint, and these are practically indestructible. It's what we put our ammo in and what we attach our guns to. If I can lift it up a bit. Oh, no, it's not going to lift up. We need a bigger one. Uh, I tend to attach these to the keel. Oh, that's massive. Okay, we'll use that. Uh, I tend to attach these to the keel itself, because if you attach it to the deck plating here, this gets destroyed really easily, and then you'll lose an entire turret for no real reason. So attach them directly onto the keel so that they don't come off. Uh, next, I have actually sorted all of my naval stuff into one big... Um, what are these even called? Module? Add... Oh, custom category. Okay, there you go. A custom category is what I almost called that. So yeah, get myself a custom category. I've got my main guns, secondary batteries, and other stuff. So we'll get ourselves, uh, yeah, sure, we'll get ourselves some giant Italian 15-inch guns. There we go! We have ourselves a beautiful little frigate. Look at it! Can I keep him? I want to keep him. There we go. We also probably need a bridge for this, so for that we're going to go to SM Marine. And where's is there's a good bridge. That's a that's a good bridge. We like this bridge. Um Yeah, that's fine. Look, it's a bridge. Uh you might want to raise these up a bit. So you probably have a few levels of deck plating. Uh have yourself a proper superstructure. And then you can just put about as much effort as you want into your superstructure, uh like we have. So I'll probably get myself a da -da 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 -da. fixed flag from NAS. And I'll put that on top of there. And ta-da! You have yourself a fully functioning man new member of the mighty cruel navy. Ready to crush capitalist Cathenian scum. As easy as that! I'm not entirely sure why as many of you asked for a tutorial uh, as, as you did. But uh, yeah, there you go. This entire tutorial is actually on the World War II Warships mod page. I'm going to eat jelly bean because I'm hungry. There we go. Um, there you go. Pretty much it. Uh, there's not really much more to it. Obviously, you want to put far more effort into it than I have here. But that's uh, pretty much it. I think I will compile all of our craft files and put them up at some point. Although, at first, we were quite uneasy about doing that because it takes hour upon hour to design these ships um, to make fall of Kerbin. And that's, you know, there's a lot of time and there's a lot of effort. If we just give everyone our craft files, there is a slight worry that knockoff series there are already a handful of them but obviously um well i say obviously that's a bit that's a bit of noxious thing to say um but no they're not particularly well good but if we give them all our well i, I want to say rather beautiful craft files uh such as where's the um king class battleship there it is i'm insanely proud of this battleship like, <laughs> the amount of effort it took to design this goddamn thing. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty proud of my navy. So, yeah, just handing it out to everyone. I don't know. I'm not sure about it. But we, we might just do it. Just give everyone, everyone our craft files. You can all have a bit of fun, you know. All have a bit of a laugh, you know. Our uh, tanks look pretty decent as well. we got our PT-34 Cobras, you know, T-34s. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll probably give you all our craft files at some point when we get round to it. If we can be bothered. If you guys want the craft files, then just say in the comments below and we'll almost certainly just give them to you. But that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you found this kind of informative, even though this was not a good video in, by any stretch of the imagination. And it's been a long day. And I'm going to go play some Hearts of Mine 4. But uh, nonetheless, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.